Welcome to my Switching Routing and Wireless Essentials course. This should be the CCNA version 7 curriculum. This is the second of three courses. Welcome to Lab 1.3.6, Configuring SSH. So I actually already loaded up the packet tracer file, and I have the uh, steps here. So we're going to go through the three parts, read the background. So I'm on part one, securing passwords. I'm using the command prompt on PC1, I'm going to tell net to switch one. So switch one's IP address is 10. 10.10.2. The password is Cisco, as it says, and I'm in the switch. So save the current configuration. So if, if there's any mistakes, we can always reverse by toggling on this power on switch. So enable copy run start. All right, it is saved. So let's go ahead and show the current configuration. We show run. We have a password there. We have a password in line VTY. We have a second password in line VTY 5 through 15. And we have no password set for console. So issue with that is passwords are in plain text. The service for password encryption is currently turned off. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So we get into our configuration mode. So configure T, we will type in service password encryption, hit enter. And let's check it again. So show run and you should now see passwords are encrypted and our service password encryption is turned on let's double check our BTY passwords and they are both hashed as well so we are good there so we've done part D moving on let's go ahead and do part 2 encrypted communication we're going to set the IP domain name and generate a SSH, an SSH key. All right, so we do the domain name by doing IP dom domain hyphen name, and we're naming it netacad.pka. So netacad dot pka double check spelling oh also we have to do this in our configuration mode Con config t now we can do our ip domain name netacad netacad dot pka so that is set. Now we need to secure keys, uh, keys that will be needed. We need to generate them. So how we generate them is we will type crypto key. I'm going to do a question mark. So we actually are going to be generating generate question mark. I'm going to do an RSA key, question mark, and I can put in a criteria if I wanted to, or I can just hit enter. How many bits are we going to do? It does generate the RSA key using at least 1024, so the default is 512, so we're going to modify that to 1024. Hit enter. It has generated our key. So that is done. So now we can move on to step two, 
which that means we need to set up a username and we need to uh, allow SSH on those ports. So how we do that is username, we're going to call the user administrator, make sure you spell it correctly, admin administrator, we're going to do secret, because it does say as a secret, Cisco, hit enter, that sets up our user, that then allows us or enables us to complete SSH. So that completes 2A. Now 2B says configure VTY to actually uh, allow for SSH. So we will line VTY 0 through 15. Line, gotta make sure you type it correctly, line VTY. We're going to use a login local. Basically it says, look for the users locally on the device. Here we're programming a switch, so it'll be local to the switch. We're going to uh, allow for transport input SSH. By doing this, we're saying only allow SSH. It will no longer allow Telnet by doing this. Next, we will disable the password. So no password Cisco, because we have a user that we're going to be trying. All right, so we've now completed step 2B. Now we can move on and we can verify. Again, we were actually already in a Telnet session. That is why uh, it's working. If we exit out, and we try to Telnet again, it should actually refuse. And that's what it does, it refuses. So let's go ahead and SSH into our switch. So SSH 10.10.10.2. I always do that. It is not SSH, it is SSH hyphen L local. Uh, user is administrator. And now you plug in the IP address. I always forget you have to do the user. And it will prompt you for your password. Type in the password and it lets us in. So upon a successful login, enter the privilege exec mode and save the configuration. So we will do enable and we will copy run start. And that is the end of this lab. Let's go ahead and check it. By clicking check, you will get a congratulations. The activity has been completed. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.